Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you around my system, my homemade solar, solar panels with the batteries and how I connected everything else. Um, this is going to be a walkthrough through it. And then after that, we're going to test the system to see if it's capable of handling the following loads. I'm going to find out if it's capable of handling 241 watt 65 inch TV, a 235 watt AV receiver, a thousand watt Ninja blender, and the last thing is going to be two five watt bulbs, the color changing light, light, light bulbs. Uh, once once you finish that, we are going to conclude the test by a surprise. My treat for you. This right here, this is the remote um, on and off button. Basically, uh, it it uses some type of uh, I don't know what you call this telephone cable, or whatever, and you can mount it anywhere because it is pretty long. Uh, there it is. It's pretty long. Um, this right here is the inverter. It's rated for 1500 continuous watts uh, with a surge power of 3000 watts, as you can see. Go wise power is the uh, manufacturer. And then here are my two lithium ion phosphate batteries, uh, each rated at 12 volts, 100 amp hours. All right, and that's that's basically it. Uh, on the left side of this, uh, you may not see it, but I'll see if we can get a clean shot. Okay, so right there is my connection extension cord. Everything is plugged in, so let's see if I can get it right there. So, all right, so. Modem, a Wi Fi modem, a receiver, uh, the uh, GIS machine, um, the lights, this and this, and then the TV. All right, so back.
Hey guys, so uh, what do you think about that test? Please let me down in the comments and kindly subscribe. God bless you guys and see you again later. Bye.